In this video, we're going to have a look at the equals sign. It's a common cause of confusion for young, naive programmers to get confused with the humble equal sign. It can mean two different things. So I'm going to try and clear this matter up. When you see this symbol, it's called the assignment operator. And it means take the value on the right and assign it into the bucket on the left. And that's normally a variable. In the line of code here, this is the assignment operator. And it's saying take the number 12 on the right and put it into the bucket on the left. Now that bucket on the left is an integer. So after this line of code has finished, the number 12 will be inside that variable. Now when you see this symbol, that's two equal signs in a row, it's called a test for equality. It's really asking the question, is the value on the right equal to the value on the left? Now, two things here. The answer to a test of equality is always going to be a Boolean. That is true or false. And another way of saying true could be one, high, or un. They're really close to being the same thing. Another way of saying false is zero, low, or oof. And they're also really close to the same thing. Now, secondly, you could have a variable on either side of a test of equality. And when you see any variable here, the compiler is going to do something. It's going to compare the value inside the variable. So in this line of code, we've got a test of equality and two variables either side. If the value in the variable either side are different, then the test of equality is going to return false. So this line of code really brings it all together. Here, we've got a test for equality. And it says, compare these two variables here. And it asks the question, are they the same? And we can see that the value in the left integer is 6, and the value in the right integer is 8. So 6 is not equal to 8. And so this part of the code is going to return false, which means that the compiler is going to take the value false and put it in the Boolean variable on the left. So I hope this clears it up for you. And this is what the equal sign means.